those people talking about me. We do have the one and only Vector the Viper in the studio with us today, and he's going to be speaking to us about everything that he's been up to. Now, I am particularly excited for this interview because be rest assured, Vector might just be the busiest person I know right now. We've been trying to get him to come into the studio for a couple weeks. You are guilty. I am going to oust you. Ah, wow. You gave us time today, though. Let me tell you how to make it up. Okay, how? Food. Food. Olive wants yam and egg. I mean, I want amala with the widow and bigiri, straight up. So, yeah, but it's right down, it's down the road from here. Okay. Life here is actually not far, and that's like the, one of the baddest amala you'd ever Are have. you serious? Yeah, I don't know about yam and egg. Yam and egg time. is not far. Opposite here, they, they sell yam and egg. Oh, okay. <laughs> At this <laughs> time. begging for food on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. No, we're Africans now. Food is natural. Food, food is, is natural. That's the big girl, man. Live now. <laughs> to have you. Nice to be well, here. Well, great to have you. Great to have you. You've been up to so much lately, and yes. I think we should start with the acting scene before we move into the music scene because right. a lot has been going on with you. <laughs> okay, let's you, talk about Sorry, that. Lara and the Beats is coming out soon, yes. and everybody has seen the trailer. Everybody is excited for this movie. Yeah. What was it like, all the preparations leading up to the production? Um, I guess I had to read a lot because, of course, I wasn't, I'm not supposed to be an actor. But it was a script that was very interesting. It was very interesting. It, it made sense beyond the regular, typical, like it's a proper musical and I got to create music as well. So it was, it was very interesting. I, I mean, they, it, I've been on a set before. This has to be the best set I've been on. Interesting. Yeah. And how was it for you? Was it like a sharp contrast from what you're used to? What, what are the changes that you had to make to be able to, be able to play the character that you played? Um, well, first of all, you're a musician where everything is around you, everything evolves around you. And now you're about to start to act where everything doesn't evolve around you, it's about everybody else plus you. So it's, it's about teamwork mostly. That had to be one of the hardest things to adjust to. Um, because so I'm doing my scenes and I need to get out and quickly go and do something else. And I'm like, okay, no, you have to wait, you know, like... Do like how many takes? do takes, then you have to wait for other people as well. So it's pretty much, let's make sure everybody's good, not just, okay, you, you get what I mean? And sometimes you have to wait for them to do their scenes before you do yours because of the, the alignment of the shots. So yeah, it, that was very, very hard. It was very hard. I, I remember just getting angry with them and just driving off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it didn't make sense to me. But later on, I got it, thanks to Auntie Chioma. I'm looking forward to see what the result is like. I'm looking forward to see what the result is like. <laughs> Have you watched well. the movie yet? Like the whole thing? Um, to be honest, no, I haven't. But you're looking forward to watching it. They've been trying to get me to sit down you're and watch nervous. this, but like, no, I'm not nervous. I'm, I've just been in this, like, I'm crafting the Energy Still Lives in Me. It's an album that I named after my dad. So the Energy Still Lives in Me is an acronym from Teslim, and that's his name. So I've been everything about that energy. So it's been that, then travels to make sure I get one or two recordings done. Um, <clears throat> recording with Nasty C, recording with Reason from SA. Just pretty much taking hip hop to that level. Where... I think my day has just been made. Vector and Nasty C on a song. <laughs> what? Right. That is such a combo. Yeah, yeah. We had to make all those things happen. And you know, so it's big news, yeah. a lot of work on, on um, underground. So that's why I haven't been able to watch another. I'm nervous, but I'm actually eager to see because Tosin Koka did a great one. He made sure, was like, so Larry, he was like, Larry, I need you to, you know, just, it's weird for me to say, I need you to be in love and look like you're in love. I'm like, okay, do you want to show me a facial expression? <laughs> I don't know how to look like that. But he made sure, he sent me tips. Um, his sister did well as well. Um, Tolu did awesome as well. Um, Madame Biola Labi did awesome as well. So, yeah, I'm waiting to see the. We are waiting to see the outcome as well. And really, our condolences on the loss of your dad. Thank you. And you name, you're naming your album after him. The energy still lives in me. Yeah. How would you say that his passing affected you, your music, and your career? To be honest, I just think it affected my life, which in turn ripple affected on every other thing. And that would be like. What's the use to all the estates and all the properties and everything? Everybody leaves it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. in my head, I'm like, so I'm there at the funeral. And Raymond Ifye, who happens to be, like, a super genius creative and is also <clears throat> on my team as well. And we work together on a and r -ing. He's my a and r And he, he was telling one of my friends, like, Larry, is, like, he's taking it all in because I was there. I was just watching. And... It just made sense. Like, 
all these things that we fight for, all these things mm. that we focus on, like, they're nothing but just, like, experience. Like, it's just things you experience and let go. The negatives, the positives, all the things you carry on your head, religion, beliefs, culture, everything, you leave them behind. So what are certain themes that we're speaking about that you've touched on in the album? Um, it would just be that mind that's free to create without boundaries because give or take, nobody remains here. Like, it's almost a sweet, sour experience. Like, life is so beautiful, but then again, you, you have to leave it behind. Everybody, it's, a, it's something we all must do. So I'm dealing with life more from that perspective now. So when I'm making music, I feel like making music about, okay, so I want to make like a love theme and I want to talk about the realisticness of being in love and I'll put that in, right? So it's not just about maybe, it's, I've learned this and I'm talking especially about my dad. It's just like a holistic experience. Like you make music about yourself and be as real as you can because those are the only documentations you leave behind pretty much right yeah so it's a general thing so i'm writing about meeting you i'm i'm here and how the show has influenced i'm it's allowed to be that and i'm excited about that because people can connect to real experiences of we're course. drawn to things that we can connect to so I, i'm looking forward to that's seeing why and yeah hearing that. even rappers like eminem for example that's why so many people across the globe appreciate eminem because his music is so raw everything he speaks about is real and relatable and yes. now we're going to see that in you as a matter of fact we had dremo in the studio yesterday and we were okay. speaking about rap in nigeria and we were like name some of your favorite nigerian rap artists and you were one of the people that he mentioned now we've seen you transition we've seen you rap we've seen you sing where yeah. would you where would you put yourself where would you put your own genre and would you say that you shifted from rap because of the music industry in nigeria oh, are you a rapper with a sing song Just uh -huh. yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay so this is it right first of all i grew up in a white government church you can't not know music like you can't like yeah. that's let's leave that aside i can still remember some of the songs from white government church because our neighbors were um i think it's the lesser church of christ so every time mm. they're singing i had to learn their songs by force. guy cruise like <laughs> it's and me i've always wondered like so i'll watch like christian like concerts on cable and i'm like so what if we took this our own like local by local i don't mean below par i mean of our own geographical location right I want sound. What if we gave it this level of dedication and focus? What if we gave it this level of skill too? And I had a choir master assistant actually, Uncle Michael, who was guy. Yeah, he broke every law in music. Like you think do re me, and you just take it somewhere else. So that's me from the jump. It's always been music, but rap just happened to be one of the things that I could do easiest. My mom would always say as I was, as a kid, so I, I always word played. Like, I'd be teasing her with wordplay. So it was a thing that I had from the jump. So it wasn't like I, I'm i more of a singer, more than a rapper, or more of a rapper. Although the Nigerian music industry, if we're going to be honest, kind of like forces you to, sing. to do certain types of music. Mainstream. Yeah, what you call mainstream. But then I've always asked that question, like, what about the other artists on the Alaba mixtapes? Like, there's Vector, there's Olavide, there's Whiskey, there's Davido, right there, a couple yeah. big names. What about those other 30 guys that are the fill-ups? What usually happens to them? It just means do whatever you can while you can. So I'm making music on that level of, yes, Niger will bend your arm to think, okay, it is this level of music that is going to work. So you kind of, like, add your own creatives into that. But at the end of it all, it's just doing your best. Mm. At the end of it, I was doing your best. So if I can sing, why can't I sing? Why am I boxing myself? Why am I putting it to a genre of music? Yeah. When like, you're allowing society to determine what you give out. Exactly. When you know that you're multifaceted. When I can be in the studio and be very, very just about the vibe. You're actually starting a campaign. Is your campaign related to this? Of course. This Tell one is mad. About campaign. It's about the people who have decided to just be different. I grew up in Lafayette. I grew up white garment church, typical... I mean, the typical Yoruba setting, like, yeah. <clears throat> but I can take you to Lafayette right now, you see my lifestyle, and you see where I'm coming from, and you, you probably would wonder, uh, what's the correlation? Yeah, that's what I'm about. Like, that's how I was, I was born, the kid who's there, what everybody's talking about, 
barrack life, I'm there thinking, so I read somewhere that there's stealth technology in warfare now. And soldiers can actually be almost invisible. You were that guy. I was that <laughs> one guy. I was that one guy in the whole of the barracks. Class captain. Yeah, all my friends would be like, guy, what's to be old? <laughs> I'd be there like, but you know there's something called genome technology? Where, like, <laughs> it's actually very small. I just happen to be, the, why? I don't know. And you were the first to always submit your assignments when yeah, teachers asked for. I'm, no, uh, well... <laughs> I li well, I liked biology. I liked all those type of things because it was fascinating to me, nothing else, right? Or I'm at home and I'm watching TV and my uncle walks in and says to my mom, ah, uh -uh, show me Sonny. Does he understand what they're saying? My mom would be like, e -cuckoo de -yo. Like I was like, what, four, five? Wow. I'm there watching cartoons and I'm like, okay, I'm taking in every, every word, every speech, every sentence. Like myself and my brothers would speak along with Timon and Pumba on Lion King. Like... We'll think nobody knows the trouble <laughs> I've seen. And my dad happened to fight with the UN and he came back safe on scratched and he brought a bunch of CDs. So we're dead, man. Baby, please try to, to forgive, forgive me. me on karaoke CDs. And we're That's in amazing. McCarthy Barks. Wow. So the world outside and the world inside my house were two different things. We're there singing. I knew I loved you before, before I met you. you. Like, I, I was a fan of, what's that, Savage Garden? I can't even remember who sang it. That was Savage Garden, and he had the animal song. Animals and um, kids, they tell the truth, they never lie. Which one is more human? There's a thought, now you decide. Which is the truth. Animals and kids tell They the tell truth. the truth, they never lie. So which is more human? And I'm there like, hmm, that's true. And apparently animals are more human than humans because dogs never lie. But we grow to a point where we become politically conscious and aware. We say, so my life growing up at home was different from the average kid playing football downstairs. And my mom will make sure you wear trainers when you're going downstairs as well. Coming from two people who didn't even do university education. So I was that different kid. So this one is mad as a campaign is, all right, let's embrace our difference. We, the fact that I'm from Lafayette and I'm Yoruba doesn't mean I can't think beyond your views. Right, so you think because I'm a Yoruba boy and I'm from Lagos Island, I must be your typical idea of Lagos Island. Lagos Island, yeah. which is nobody that brings bottles on Lagos. As a matter of fact, one of the lawyers that I do deals with is the other of Lagos' son, Prince K, and that, that all of us are there giving them. You get what I mean? So the campaign is about those people, those people who are different but aren't afraid to be that. So I met whack people. They're called We Are Creatives. Yeah, so it's pretty much, this one is mad. Amazing. So how can people get involved in the campaign? Um, just be crazy. Be yourself. If what you are is not... Conventional. Exactly. If it's not the norm, it's okay to not be the norm. It's okay to be the guy who's asking, like... So I'm watching all these things that happen in Nigeria and the crisis, and I'm like, who is the camera guy? Why are you there? <laughs> like... Why are you, you running know, towards the heat? You're actually busting my brain. Aren't you scared? Like, there was a bomb blast and you didn't fall fast. Like, guy, I'm thinking, like, why are you there? Like, did you know it was going to happen? Why, did, why are you not scarred? Who do you represent? Is there pre-information about this occurrence? Yeah. We are allowed to be those and Nigerians as well. We're allowed so to So basically, think. embrace your difference. Do not fit into the stereotype of what society Your expect, thought power. expects you to be. You're allowed to think Don't, as a Nigerian. Yeah. You're allowed to think. You're allowed to sit with your parents and say, why are we doing this? Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Boom. Fantastic. It's been such an absolute pleasure having you, Vector. Thank you very much this for joining us. This is a very us. refreshing conversation. <laughs> we look Thanks forward to having, you know, seeing this campaign catch on like wildfire and knowing how we can be part of it as well. Um, yeah, we're, we're just, we're letting it be as natural as possible because there's also the side where you're, you're propagating things and you're, it's, nobody wants that propaganda feel. It's going to be natural. Let everybody who feels the freedom of artistic expression, let them find us. We're there. All right. We'll follow Vector on social media to find out. Or oh, how can people follow you on social media? Yeah, it's at Vector the Viper. Of course, it's at Vector the Viper. Follow him on social media to yeah. find out his campaign and everything he's been up to. Thank you very much for joining Thanks. us. Thanks Thanks for so much. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.